text your girlfriends. I am your girlfriends. And let them know that she is back on live with a new cut, a new color, and a new deal, honey. When you're in the building, make sure you hashtag, I'm here for the shit. I'm always here for the shit, daddy, okay? I love it, daddy. If you like it, I love it, honey. I'm always here for the motherfucking shit, bitch, okay? Let me tell you something. Yeah, huh? Ooh, get this Oh, Jen, get in here. I'm back. I am back, honey, okay? Make sure y'all share this live, honey. Make sure y'all share this motherfucking live, honey, okay? Because I got to go ham again. And I really don't like to do this, honey. Yes, Walkies, honey. Make sure y'all share this live and like this girl. I don't like to do this, honey, okay? I tag you, Shady, so you don't have to actually... Why, honey, what's going on? I tagged you. I just want to tag it, you know, so you can know, right? I respect my trans men. I respect my AGs, okay? But you have to respect yourself for someone else to respect you, okay? First of all, 15 years of me doing the trans men and me doing the AGs, I got... Motherfucking seven bodies, bitch, okay? Giovanni, Ebony, trans man that only been out for a year, that has four bodies. You got four bodies in a year? That says a lot about your motherfucking pussy. That says a lot about your fucking snatch that you got between your legs, okay? You want to run around and you want to sit here and you want to be sucking motherfucking dick? And all types of shit that you doing, bitch. You don't ever want a fucking day of me. I am not the bitch that you want to come for or the bitch that you want to send for, okay? Listen, okay? You got four bodies, okay? And out of four of those bodies that you got, by the grace of God, and God saved you, that the four bodies that you have, you see I got you see, I got four nails, right? You see four, four fingers up here? And you see... One of the nails is silver, right? Because this nail saved you. This nail saved you. This nail saved you. But this third nail right here, this middle mid motherfucking finger nail right here, bitch, almost took your motherfucking ass out. You are 19 years old. You need to stay in a child's place and stop playing with grown-ass motherfucking people because I'm not the bitch that you want to play with, bitch. You's a fucking nasty-ass fucking trans man that's running around and you're sucking dick or you sucking transgender's dicks on motherfucking buses and motherfucking shit, bitch. But you want to sit here and you want to come for me and you want to send for me and you want to send for my child, okay? I don't care what I re at the end of the day, baby, like I tell you, I don't give a fuck what a bitch feel or how a bitch motherfucking feel about it, okay? Tukdu can feel any type of way that she wants to feel about the situation, but you're nasty. You want to suck her father's dick because Danny got a big old dick. You asked Danny to pull the dick out, and he pulled it out. Bitch, I got messages, bitch, okay? Stop doing me, bitch. You don't want me to do, don't do me. And like you said, the other dyke that was in the room, my friend that was there in the room, bitch, I got receipts, okay? Because after the live was over, that I did the last live I did, my friend texted me like, yo, why that child lying like that, okay? Please don't make me bring him up here on this motherfucking live so he can, because everybody can't be lying on you. Everybody cannot be running around here lying, okay? Bitch, you got four motherfucking bodies, and one of those bodies almost took you out. That speaks volumes for yourself. You need to keep your motherfucking pants up, and keep your motherfucking legs closed, and keep your mouth closed. Because every dick ain't a good dick that you need to be motherfucking sucking, okay? And I don't give a fuck where you at in Harlem. We both in motherfucking Harlem. So if you want to bring the motherfucking noise, we can bring the motherfucking noise if that's what you really want to do. 
But that's not what you really want to do. Because at the end of the day, you's a little ass bitch. Okay? This is not what you want to see. Okay? So you ain't got to give me your address. Give anybody your address. Because at any given time, you can come see me. I'm right here in the polo grounds. You know exactly where it's at. You, your mama, your brothers, your uncles, your cousins, or or anybody else that wants to come can come. But I'm not the one for you to, to play with. And you want to get mad because you want to suck somebody dick and then you want to try to clean you want to try to clean yourself up. You want to try to clean yourself up and all types of stuff because you want to suck Danny dick and you know how Danny get down. So you want to hold Danny phone when you was going to when you was going to suck his dick because you were scared that Danny was going to record it and all types of stuff and you ain't wanted to get back to Tutu and stuff and Girl, please, don't do it. I ain't got no reason to lie, okay? You hit me up on Saturday night when I got back to my hotel room asking me where was I at. I got the messages. I said I was in my room. You asked me for the address. I sent you the address. You was like, oh, that's deep. I said, okay, well, maybe the next time, okay? Y'all y'all kids keep, this is what I keep telling y'all girls. See, y'all can play with other bitches, but I'm not the bitch that you want to play with or get down like that, okay? Bitch, I do I do receipts. I keep receipts, okay? Bitch, so if nothing, if I was being aggressive and Danny was being aggressive, what was the point of you saying, oh, don't try to get freaky with me? And I said to you in the message... Oh, I ain't going to do that because Danny's here next time. And you said, laugh out loud, right? That's what you said in the messages. So, but then you want to text Tutu and talk about, oh, somebody was being aggressive with you and you was just smoking weed and um, drinking. No, you were smoking weed. You was drinking and you was hitting the bag. Let's keep it. A, let's keep it a stack. And we're going to keep it a stack. Let's keep it motherfucking real. Okay? Bitch, I don't know, Shady. You know, baby, Shady, I don't get down like that, Shady. I ain't get down. I don't do that, Shady. I ain't got time for all of that. I got too many of them in my motherfucking inbox that I got to rape somebody or be aggressive with somebody. Please. Don't do me. Hold on, baby, because I'm all about... Hold on. Let me get up, honey. Let me go to the front. I got to go to the front. Hold on. I got to go to the front, honey, because y'all know I'm all about... Uh, You know, I'm here for the shit, bitch. I'm always here for the motherfucking shit, bitch, okay? Uh, baby, okay? Right, you know, because I'm, I'm about about my receipts, bitch, okay? Baby, you see, this is his message right here. I'm coming over. You better not try to get freaky with me. I put laugh out loud, not while Danny's around. His comment was laugh out loud, right? Bitch, okay? You hit me up. You hit me up, honey, okay? Baby, listen. I got, I keep receipts. Bitch, I'm a bitch about receipts. So, if I was trying to be aggressive, I just told you. You said, don't try to get freaky. Well, you said, you better not get freaky with me. I said, laugh out loud. Not while Danny's around. Laugh out loud. You said, laugh out loud, right? Y'all just see that, right? So... But you want to text Tutu and talk about, oh, I don't want to be over here. They're being real. They're being real aggressive with me and trying to get in my pants. Uh, I'm here for the shit, bitch. The same way you bitches do receipts, I do receipts too, honey, okay? I've been doing this for a very long time, okay? I do receipts, Okay, so, oh, yeah, okay, so, yeah, get your girlfriends up here, so, what are you trying to say, boo-boo, yeah, share this live, because, see, mama, like me, I keep receipts, hold on, okay, hold on, let me see if the text message, uh, hold on, let me see if the text from my friend 
It's in this phone. Hold on, hold on. Hold on. I'm trying to see where is it is it in here? Hold on. I might have to I might have to pause y'all for a minute and send it to myself. Okay? Bitch, because I got receipts, honey. I might have to send it to my uh I might have to send it to my phone, honey, to my uh messenger, honey. I might have to pause y'all and screenshot it. Honey, and send it to my uh, and send it to my messenger. So hold on, cause see, I'm about receipts, bitch. I'm here for the shit. Don't try to play me. Don't try to make me seem like uh, this little nasty, this uh, son, this little nasty, this little nasty dyke named Giovanni Ebony that runs around and motherfucker and running around and trying to suck every butch queen and every trans girl dick out here, Miss Thing, bitch, and running around here sucking dick on on the motherfucking bus and shit, bitch. And don't have you talk about you. Only been out. You only you only been out for a year. You been out for a year, but you got four bodies in a year. You got four bodies in a year, and one of those bodies almost bodied you. One of those bodies almost bodied you. Almost off you at nineteen years old. They almost off you and made you a casualty. But by the grace of God, you escaped it. That was God trying to save you. But then you still out here and you spreading your legs like a rose. Hold on, because uh, that message is not in my phone. It's in my phone. Hold on. Do not go no place, y'all. Don't go no place. I'm about to screenshot this message and I'm about to send it to my inbox so y'all can see this message. So do not leave this live. It's about to say broadcast interrupted, but I'm about to screenshot this message and bring it back to y'all because I'm about receipts. Hold on. Hold on. Don't go no place. I'm back. Hold on. I'm back. Don't go no place. Uh, Athena, I just sent you a message, but I just sent it to you because I needed to send it to the first person on my list. Okay? So now, I had to send the message to the first person on my list. So now, my friend, my other friend that he's talking about that was in the room on the live, okay, just text me today after the live was over, and this is the message from my friend, because he up here, and he's sitting here, and he writing all of this stuff, and all types of shit, but this is the message from my friend that he sent. My, my friend sent the message today. Why is that boy lying, though? Okay? You see the message. Why is that boy lying? Okay? This is the message from my other friend that was in the room. Y'all remember the live? Y'all remember the live when I told y'all that it was... Me, Danny, and two other boys. It was me, Danny, and a butch, and that nasty-ass trans man in the room. I kept receipts, okay? So after the live was over, the first live that I did, my other friend that was in the room texted me. And y'all see what he said? Yo, why that boy lying, though? Why you lying, though? So everybody's lying. Everybody's lying on you, Giovante. Everybody's lying on you, okay? Why is every how why is everybody lying on you? But everybody's lying on you. But this is what you tell it to to. But I got receipts. I keep receipts. I'm a bad I'm a bad bitch. I keep motherfucking receipts. Okay? But everybody's lying on you. My friend that was in the room is lying on you too. Your inbox to me is lying on you too. Okay? Everybody's lying. But like you said, ain't nothing going to come between you and Tutu. Ain't nothing. Nobody's not trying to come between you and Tutu. Tutu is a grown-ass woman. Tutu will believe what but Tutu will want to believe. But baby, guess what? At the end of the day, we know the truth. You need to have respect for yourself. If these girls out here is not respecting you, and they fucking you on the floor, and you sucking dick on the motherfucking mega bus and all type of stuff. You need to have more respect for yourself. If you don't respect yourself, how the fuck is somebody else gonna motherfucking respect you if you're not respecting yourself? Okay? I'm not the one and I'm not the two, okay? I don't beat up on girls because at the end of the day, I don't give a fuck what you look like. I don't give a fuck what is changed on your ID. At the end of the day, you're biologically born a female. You're still a female. So if somebody busts you in your mouth, 
you're a female. The first thing you're going to tell the cops is, I'm a girl. That's the first thing you're going to tell the cops. I am a girl, okay? I know, the, I know the way. I know how it's done, okay? So now if you and Danny want to get out there and y'all want to scrap and do whatever the fuck y'all want to do, that's on you, Danny, and everybody else on 128th Street between Lenox and 5th Avenue. But at the end of the day, don't send for me because I didn't send for you, okay? What you need to do is practice safe sex because the life you save will definitely be your own. You escaped one girl that was running around and had HIV and didn't tell you. You escaped that one. But the next one will not be a scapegoat. So if you're going to run around here and you're going to suck dick and you're going to get fucked, wrap it up. It's multiple agencies around here that sells condoms. I mean, that gives out condoms and all types of things that you can go and get condoms. You could get male condoms. You could get female condoms to go up in your motherfucking twat so you could save your life, okay? Because we don't want you at 19 years old, at 20 or 21, to be a casualty of the epidemic of HIV and AIDS and all different types of STDs that is running around out here that you can get, okay? Save yourself Save your life, okay? Because if you don't, you're going to be gone. You're going to be another statistics in the CDC, okay? So I'm trying to help you help yourself. But if you don't love yourself, who the fuck is going to love you if you don't love yourself? If you don't love and respect yourself, no one else is going to love or going to respect you. These girls out here do not give a fuck about you trans men. They see you as a piece of ass, another notch on their motherfucking belt. That's what they see you as. So if you run around and you fucking and sucking every Tom, Dick, and motherfucking Harry that's running around here, you will find yourself in a body bag. Your family will be coming to pick you up, okay? So don't send for this because I didn't send for you. I have no loyalty to anyone. I'm not in a relationship with anyone. So anyone that I choose to fuck and suck or do whatever I want to do, that is on me to choose to do that. If your man or your woman want to open their legs and spread their legs and spread their ass cheeks or spread their dick or whatever they want to do, bitch, do not get mad at me. Do not throw me the ill face. Do not give me the cold shoulder. Because I knew that was your man, so you want to give me much? You don't give me much, you give them much. Because I didn't do a motherfucking thing to you. They did it to you when they opened their motherfucking legs, bitch. But one thing for certain, two things for sure. When they open their legs over here, best to believe... We going up in there with a motherfucking condom. Because best to believe we ain't trying to come back with nothing, honey, okay? October 21st, we've been here for 22 years, okay? And we ain't got nothing and we ain't trying to get nothing. But you bitches got to have respect for yourself. Have respect for yourself. That girl that you sucked her dick on the bus, she didn't have respect for you. And you ain't have respect for yourself because you sucked her dick on the bus, Okay? Yeah, I know your tea, because the girl's addition, your tea to me. That bitch that fucked you on that floor, she didn't have respect for you because she fucked you on the floor. I hope she put some blankets down when you fucked her on the floor. You got to have respect for yourself. A bitch couldn't even get an air mattress to fuck you on the air mattress. She fucked you on the floor. The floor. Mm-mm-mm-mm-mm. I can't with you kids, but you want to come for me? You really want to come for me? Really? That's what you want? You want to come for me? Why? Why well, knock on my door? I know you only been out for a year. But I know everybody, everybody and their mama done told you about me. I know they told you about me. Everybody told you about me. I know they did. Everybody knows. That. 
big fat black bitch is not the bitch that you want to cross. You want to cross anybody else. You want to cross anybody else. You could have sent that message to Tutu, and you could have said it was just it was Danny. But no, you wanted to you wanted to add me into the equation. So since you wanted to add me into the equation, and as you see, every time I do a live and I talk about you, I tag you in it. So if you's a bad bitch, like you say that you a bad bitch, Danny Khan, okay? If you's a bad motherfucking trans man, like you say you a bad trans man, when you talk about this bitch, you tag this bitch in it. Because every time I do a live, bitch, or I'm going to clap at you, I'm going to tag you in it. Because I'm that bitch. Okay? That's how I get down. And I keep telling y'all. Okay? Y'all bitches want to throw up subliminals and all types of shit. Don't do subliminals. Don't do all of that. If you's a bad motherfucker and you directed something towards someone, you tag them in it. Bitch, you just did a live. You just, you're on live right now. And you're doing a live right now. And as you're doing your live, they called me and they told me that you're talking about me. Why they had to call me and tell me you was talking about me? Tag me in it, mama. Tag me. A trans man, I'll tell you what a trans, a trans man is someone that has transitioned from female to male. And they take testosterone and things like that. And, you know, and they, they're men now. They're men now. That's what a trans man is. Someone that transitioned from female to to male. That's what a trans man is. Okay? And I got a lot of them up here on my live right now. A lot of them. A lot of respectable ones, honey. Okay? I respect all the trans men. I love the trans men. Shady can tell you that. Okay? I don't never get into it with the trans men. I never have a problem with the trans men. Kelly is 150% trans man, honey, okay? I love my trans man community. I do not get into it with my trans men. I ride or die or and fight for the motherfucking trans men. But when you got this nasty ass messy, this ain't even a trans man, this is what I'm talking about, okay? He might be supposed to be a trans man, but he's a, he's a bitch, that's what he is. He's a fucking bitch. Because the shit that he's running around doing, men don't run around and do this motherfucking shit. What he's running around doing, he's running around being a bitch, okay? And trying to stir up motherfucking mess between motherfuckers, okay? That's some type of shit that project motherfucking bitches do. That's what dirty bitches from the hood do. And that's what that bitch is. A dirty ass motherfucking bitch from the motherfucking hood or motherfucking Lennox Avenue, okay? A dirty smut bucket ass motherfucking hoe. That's what that is, okay? Giovanni uh, Carter. I tagged him in this video. His name Giovanni Carter on this video. Giovanni Ebony. Nasty ass motherfucking hood wreck ass motherfucking cunt from the motherfucking hood from Linux motherfucking Avenue, bitch, okay? That's what bitches do. Bitches run around and do all this gossiping and all types of shit. All the trans men I know is real motherfucking men. They don't get involved in all this motherfucking bullshit, okay? And whatever the fuck they do behind closed doors is what the fuck they do behind closed doors. And they respect themselves up to that utmost, okay? See, that's the problem with these that's the problem with these nasty ones that's running around here. They fucking with these bitches that don't respect them. Okay? Because even if you did suck that bitch when, you did, I know you did. Because they told me, even if you did suck that bitch dick on the bus, why would she go and tell anybody that you sucked her dick on the bus? Because she don't respect you. Why would that other one that fucked you on the floor go and tell anybody she fucked you on the floor? Because she doesn't respect you. It ain't never in my 15 years that I have ever discussed what me and any trans man or AG has done in my 15 years. You know why? Because I respect them just that much. I respect them just that much that I don't need to run around and discuss my sexual pleasures or my sexual business with anybody. 
Whatever we, whatever we have done in the room, that's nobody's business. And if somebody wants to ask me whether I was fucking them or they was fucking me, what if somebody was to ask me, they fucked the shit out of me because it's nobody's business. But y'all running around here, y'all fucking these little dirty motherfucking bitches that's running around telling their girlfriends that they don't fuck you, don't stuck their dick up all up in your pussy and all up in your ass, and you don't suck their dick and they don't nut it in your mouth and all types of things because they don't respect you and your transition. Bitch, respect yourself. You got to respect yourself before somebody else can respect you. I'm just, I'm just, I just can't. I just can't, honey. I just can't. Too much. Too much. It's a lot. I'm here for the shit. I had to change my cut and my color. The last video was blonde, honey. The last video was blonde, honey. I had to change it to the black, honey, you know. I have to get. I have to give y'all a new look. Chair, if you will go back and you'll see his name, yo. Chair, you know. I got what? I got good what? What's the tea? You can hear me now. I can hear you very well. Listen, it's it's this situation. First of all, was just blown all the way out of proportion, bro. Because the thing is this, bro. Man, I say it all the time, and I'm listening to what you're saying. These kids don't respect themselves. They having sex with people who don't give a fuck about them. These people are violating them, and they're coming back and reading them to me. You feel me? It's nothing that this kid can, like, he's steady writing all these statuses and steady dragging this situation or whatever the case may be is. You're doing all this with purpose. Talking to your bitch, because if I want to keep talking to your bitch, I'm going to keep talking to your bitch, because your bitch is different. You feel what I'm saying? So, like, he's steady sending all these threats and all these leak disses and shit, talking about who he is and who he ain't, but I'm going to show him who the fuck I am. Huh? Real. Go ahead. Finish talking. I'll be right back. Talk. Keep talking. Oh, and he's young, you know. And that's the sad part, because he is young. And, and and the fact that it's grown motherfuckers trying to tell him, you know what I'm saying, what it is he's doing wrong, what it is he's doing right. You should take heed. You should listen. You've been in this thing a year. A year. Yeah. You sitting there barking no, like, you oh, that, bro. Your body, like that shit cute. You shouldn't have none, bro. That means it's open to sesame. It's easy for uh, anybody motherfucker to come up and fuck on you and shit. And yeah, you, you got motherfuckers. Speak up. They said speak up. They can't hear you. Speak up. Y'all can Not hear you. me now? Like, motherfuckers just wild. Don't write no status about me, though, bro. Because at the end of the day, I will, I will, I will hurt your feelings, and you all in my inbox talking about who, 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 what you did oh, to other motherfuckers. Let's take it off this live before you right back. I'm not oh. paying shit. I'm not paying nothing. It's too late, folks. It's not nothing being paid. None of that shit. Motherfuckers think first of all, you as a kid, you've been on this thing, on this scene 24 hours. You've been in the scene 24 hours, G, and you sitting up here barking like I only got four bodies, like like you winning with that. You sound, you sound first that, of all, they, first of all, first of all, oh Sadie, and that wasn't that wasn't that wasn't my that wasn't that wasn't my uh that wasn't my areola to everybody. Yeah, I got burned, I got burned on my breast, Sonny. That wasn't my areola. That's the burn on my breast. But no, you want to the child want to sit here and talk about you got four body, you got four. You only been out for a year, and you got four bodies, and one of those bodies almost bodied you. That, that's what I'm saying, bro. You, you bargain. I've been out seven years and I got four bodies, bro. So don't sit up here talking about, oh, you got four bodies. Like, that's cute, G. That's not cute. That's actually bad. And we not counting the other three, four bodies who didn't give you their body. So you, you got four that actually happened, bro. But what about the other six that you ain't talking about? So you about 10, 11-ish? Come on. Keep it real. Keep it a big, bro. You know I'm the baby Kelly. I'm here for the shits. They start me up. I get to going. I don't stop. I'm like a bullet. I don't stop until I hit something. And that's on my mama. Period. Well, uh, I just want I just want I just want to be left alone. I didn't ask I didn't ask I didn't listen. I didn't ask to be brought into this equation. But I was brought into this equation, honey, you know, because you know they brought me in.
Yeah, sorry. You know, I, I can't say when they're going to take commercial breaks. They just take them, honey. But uh, I didn't ask to be brought into this equation, okay? Baby, I don't kiss. I don't, like I said in the beginning of this live, I don't kiss and tell, honey. Baby, that's not what I do. I don't kiss and tell. I didn't ask to be brung into this equation. Baby, whatever, if I got silly in Philly and whatever happened in Philly would have stayed in Philly, okay? That's what it is. But when you want to sit here and you want to try to cover your tracks to make yourself look good because you think that someone's going to go back and someone's going to tell your wife and then you want to try to throw people underneath the bus, I paid that, okay? Then all of the shit that happened with you and him today on Facebook, I paid all of that. I put up my status that it is enough transgender dick running around here for every trans man that wants some, baby. Y'all don't have to fight and argue over it. But then you want to go and you want to put up a status and shoot at me, but don't shoot at me directly because you don't put me in the status. But the same thing that you said in that status is the same thing that you said in that message that you sent to your wife. So I already knew you were shooting at me. So now you open up. Hey, and, now you open up oh, Pandora's box. This is the whole thing, though, and I'm and I'm a trans man. You feel me? So I can tell you from experience. First of all, G, these trans men out here popping pussies on handstands, G, thinking they getting clout off of it. Oh, you getting all these bitches? You get any bitch you want, G? On the but on the outside looking in, you are the one getting fucked. Y'all are not topping these girls, so don't be out here running around like, oh, y'all out here topping these girls, cause y'all not. These girls are straight violating y'all. But y'all not, y'all can't tell me they not because it's the same girl that's violating y'all that's already parked up in my inbox to try to violate me. So I know how they coming, you feel me? And these trans men out here thinking they getting life off talking to all these girls when on the whole outside looking in, oh, at the end of the day, you you can look like the, 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 the manliest man in the world, but you still have a box between your legs. And when these bitches penetrate them and fuck them, they not looking at them niggas, them niggas as niggas. They looking like I'll just fuck this bitch. You feel me? That's just real life shit. G and motherfuckers not even looking at it like that. You feel me? Y'all out here arguing over dick. At the end of the day, when two trans men fight over a trans woman, they're arguing over dick. Because they felt that shit, and now they upset, they tight, because another motherfucker finna feel that shit, and they not going for it. And that's just real life shit. And a lot of these trans men don't want to admit to that shit, so they run around here acting like they tops, like all them tops, all oh, yeah. Bro, I'm, that bitch ain't fucking me up. But no, bro. We all all know what it's hitting for. Who the fuck you lying to? You feel me? Let's just be real. Like, who the fuck you lying to? I'm a trans man. I live this life. You can't lie to me. You can't get that past me, folks. I see the shit every day. I've been in this scene seven years. You've been in this scene a year, bro. You can't tell me nothing about this shit. Shit, right or wrong? Am I right or wrong? You tell me all the time. Like, it's just... Oh, yes, God, I'm here for the... Oh, wait, oh, hold on. I'm here for the shit. Oh, sorry. I just see something. I see, you know, <laughs> I'm here for the shit, you know. But I just... I just want... I just see something that just, you know, okay. But I just want people to respect... I just want to respect their self. Because if you if he don't respect himself, no one else is going to respect him. And it's no shade, honey, okay? That's my whole thing. I don't... I hate... I hate that I have to actually sit here and go through this and say these things and do these things because someone wants to try to make themselves seem like they're great for their wife and everything and when they're not. And you're not going to drag my name through the mud to make yourself look clean. No, you're not going to do that. Not at all. Because if you want to drag me, bitch, I'm going to drag you. I'm going to drag you right along with me if you want to drag me. So don't drag me because I'm not the one that you want to sit here and you want to do this with and you want to play with like that. Because I'm here for the shit. And I can get messy as fuck. I can get real messy and real grimy. I'm not oh, the one that I any. I'm not the one that anybody to... wants to. I'm not the one that anybody wants to cross. Because if you cross me, story. bitch, I'm gonna come out. Jess Kelly is a new persona that I have learned in prison. Okay, I learned that persona in prison. Don't think because I went to prison okay. and I don't get a, 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 a certificate for motherfucking anger management and for substance abuse and for HIV counseling and all. Don't think because I got all these certificates and I came home and I said, 
I'm just Kelly now and left Kelly Mizrahi in jail that Kelly Mizrahi can't come out at any given motherfucking time and motherfucking opens Pandora's box on a motherfucking bitch and let a bitch know that I am always here for the shit at any given motherfucking time. But you're not going to make yourself look good on my time. You know, you're not. When you running around here, you trying to suck, you trying to suck everybody's motherfucking dick, bitch. You was a nasty, you was a nasty motherfucking cunt from Lenox Avenue, bitch. Stay in your lane, bitch. Cause I ain't the one. Trust me, I got some big ass, burly ass motherfucking sisters and cousins, bitch. Okay, I ain't gonna hit no motherfucking trans man, and I ain't gonna hit no ag. But I got some motherfucking cunts, bitch, that are coming motherfucking gut you like a motherfucking pig, bitch. Okay, and I don't have a problem, bitch. Any motherfucking nigga from your motherfucking block that wanna rumble with the cows, ha? Huh? They can come. If a nigga come in and they want to shoot with the hands, bitch, we can shoot the hands because I'm here for the shit. I don't have a problem with throwing my motherfucking bundles up in a ponytail and dusting a motherfucking nigga off. But I know what's going to happen at the end of the day. I'm going to whoop his motherfucking ass. A nigga going to try to shoot me because they just got beat by a motherfucking uh, by a transgender. So they're going to try to shoot me. Okay. But I ain't with it. And yes, I'm making another live about you, honey. It's always about you, honey. Because, you know, she said, you know, she put up a status. Oh, you made, you sat there and you made a whole live about me and everything. No, I didn't make a whole live about you. Don't, don't, don't ever think it's about you, honey. Okay? Bitch, it's never about you, bitch. Every time I turn this motherfucking camera on, dyke, cut, I get paid every time this camera comes on. Okay? Every time, every time, every time you see this, bitch, every It's six o'clock. I'm getting paid for my services. Okay? You got some motherfuckers that come and sit here on motherfucking live and they just talk shit just to talk shit. When I turn on my camera, bitch, I get paid to turn on my camera, bitch. The coins are here, bitch. No that. Yes, it's six o'clock. That's my iMac. Okay, my 27-inch iMac computer that's sitting up there. So every time I turn on my life, don't think this song is about you, bitch. Because, no, it's not about you, bitch. I turn this motherfucking shit on, bitch. I get paid when I turn this shit on, bitch. You turning your shit on, bitch, and you just running your trap-ass motherfucking mouth, bitch, and you ain't getting paid for running your trap-ass motherfucking mouth when you turn your shit on, bitch, okay? Only reason people is on your live the way you had those hundred and something people on your live, bitch, girl, because they knew I was talking about you. And they was waiting for you to clap back. So that's why they was on your live, bitch. I get paid for this shit, bitch. I get paid to run this mouth on live. Okay? Bitch, remember. Remember. If it wasn't for me and Danny. Oh, well, what, should I say Danny? You would have been stuck in, uh, you would have been stuck in uh, Philadelphia. Probably spreading your to- legs. Probably spreading your legs for one of the Philadelphia girls. Because you didn't even have $12 for a bus ticket, bitch. Don't do me. Because I'm not the one, the two, or the three. You got a better chance of playing with the next tranny motherfucking dick than playing with me. Bitch couldn't even pay to get home. The Chinese bus is only $12. Twelve motherfucking dollars. Twelve dollars, and a bitch ain't even have twelve motherfucking dollars. How the fuck you go out of state and even they got twelve dollars? And this is what you want to do? Stop fucking with those bitches. You see, see that's the problem with these motherfuckers. They fucking with these basic bitches. Stop fucking with. And I'm not calling two to a basic bitch. I'm talking about the other ones. Okay, so I don't want to make that clear. 
Stop fucking with these basic bitches and start fucking with principles. You fucking with these basic bitches that you just spreading your legs or eagle for and getting your motherfucking knees dirty with no motherfucking knee pad sucking dick on the yeah. motherfucking bus. And then you ain't even got shit, and you ain't even got shit to show for it. These bitches fucking you on the fucking floor, bitch, and you ain't got shit to show for it. Nothing. Nothing. Okay. I'm talking about the motherfucker that's tagged in this video, Giovante motherfucking Carter Ebony that's tagged in this video. This dirty ass supposed to be motherfucking trans man. This dirty ass motherfucking cunt from Lennox Avenue. Okay, you laying on your back and ain't even got shit to show for it. Least the motherfucking, least the motherfucking, uh, least the motherfucking hood rat motherfucking uh cisgender woman bitch. Least when they lay on their back, bitch, they got something to show for it. Okay. A nigga all cashed out on it, bitch. You letting these motherfucking, you letting these fucking, uh, these transgender women cash out on you, bitch, and you ain't cashing back. Got to cash back, boo boo. Cash back. Okay, it's like the clap back, like I do on Monday nights when I do the recaps and I clap back. You gotta clap back. You gotta cash back. You gotta cash back. You gotta cash back. You better cash the cash the cash cash back, bitch. Cash the fuck back. You open your legs and spreading your legs all wide and all like a bald motherfucking ego, Miss Thing Girl, bitch. And then you ain't even get, you ain't even got nothing to show for it. But then you want to sit here and you want to come from a bitch like me. I didn't do nothing. I wasn't aggressive. So the, why would you? Why would you lie? Was I aggressive when we were standing outside that club and I was sucking on your neck? I wasn't aggressive when I was sucking on your neck. Was I aggressive when you was hitting that bag? Was I aggressive when I was standing outside waiting for the cab and you was grabbing on that dick in the in the foyer of the lesbian party? Was I aggressive? I don't think I was aggressive. I don't think my son was aggressive when you told him to uh, pull out his dick and you gagged how big it was and you wanted to suck it. I don't think we was aggressive then, but we was aggressive when you sent that message to your wife. We was aggressive. No, we wasn't aggressive. I don't need, I don't never need to be aggressive. Bitch, I've been single for six motherfucking years, bitch. At any given time, if I want an AG or I want a trans man, I have a flock of them that is at my door. Hold on. It's that time again when we must pay some mother. You know, I got to pay some bills, honey. You know, I don't talk for free, honey. Okay, son? I don't talk for free, honey. But, son, I'm going to call you back. Let me infuse some more people in this live. See what people got to say about all of this. Let's see. I'm here for the shit, honey. I'm always here for the shit, honey. Well, let me see if my brother answers, honey. Let me see if my brother answers, honey. Let me see if my brother answers. Let's see if he answers for me, you know. My brother, you know, my brothers, my brothers and my and my sons, and they don't like me. They don't really, they don't like me talking to the trans man and to the butchers. They really don't. Yo, what's yo. goody, brother? Yo, so you and just put me on this, yo. What's wrong? With yes, you? I did, honey. You know, I invited you to the live. What's up? What's up, yo? Hold on. So how you feel about this whole situation? You don't see both videos. Oh, you breaking up, Joe. You got Sorry. a bad connection. No, I'm about to uh, step into some connection. Yeah, hear me? You see me? That's tired. Hold on. No, Susan, it's nothing. No, Susan. Susan, I got to Susan. I got to call you, Susan. I got to call you, Susan, and tell you the whole story, Susan. It's more to the story, Susan. I, Susan, I'm not... Wait. Yo. No, Susan, it's more, it's more to the story, Susan. Nobody not saying... Y'all see me? Not saying, 
Nobody, not, nobody, not saying that they can't sue. There's a whole lot to the story. Somebody tried to motherfucking twist the whole story. I'll call you after the live, Susan, and give you the whole story. Nobody's not saying that they can't sue. Just respect <laughs> yourself, buddy. Okay. Yo, what up? Oh man. Hello, hello. What's up? Yo, what's good? Nothing. I'm out here enjoying my day. I'm enjoying my day. So. <laughs> Yo, I can't. I can't. I want to know. I was just lost. I caught into it after you tagged me. I just heard sucking dick on the mega bus. I don't, I don't really know about that life. <laughs> you know, like I don't know. That's why I've been low key. I can't. I can't do it. Yeah, but like I would have never. I, I would have. I would have never came up here. I paid the. Listen, I paid the whole situation. Right when yeah. the, the message was sent to me that he sent to Danny. The message was sent to Tutu, and Danny sent me the message. Yeah, I paid the message. All the statuses that because he up, didn't look like he was uncomfortable when I saw him in the club. He ain't look uncomfortable. He walked in. He walked right up to y'all. I was standing right there. He walked right up to y'all. He looked very comfortable. People don't understand. You put yourself in this place. When you put yourself in this place and you acting like you that nigga, okay. And people pull your card, okay? Your card get pulled. My card got pulled before. It's okay, poop. My card got pulled. But it's about receipts. And if you out here lying, people is going to put you on blast, especially when they know you fucking lying. You lying. That's it. Because you lying. If, so true, so true. So if uh, let me ask you a question. So if you got to my hotel at 2.30 that afternoon, Okay. First of all, if I had a girlfriend, I wouldn't have been at your hotel at two thirty in the afternoon. First, so you got to my hotel. Been with my you, bitch. Got to my ho- you got to my hotel two thirty in the <laughs> afternoon. Ass. Everybody seen. Everybody seen my live. Everybody seen my live about eight o'clock that night. Everybody seen my live when I was cutting up in the hotel. So everybody seen my yeah. live, and you was hiding in the hotel. But all of this stuff had happened. Then we go to the lesbian party. From the lesbian party, we go to the ball. From the ball, we go to Woody's. So what oh, I don't even live here. So nah, this, I just came to visit. All of this stuff was happening. Are you right, right? was uncomfortable. No, I'm living in New York. If all of this stuff was happening and you was uncomfortable, would not have you got yourself out of that situation? Yeah, I would have got out of it. I've been in situations like that before where I just want to... I've been in situations where I just want to chill sometimes. You know what I'm saying? Sometimes you just want to chill. I just want to chill. It hasn't been with people, though. It's been with people who I'm around. You feel me in the scene? You make friends. You da da da. But let me let you know something. You are a product also of what the fuck your parents are. And that's no shade to no fucking body. But E did not play that with me, Kelly. You know that. My parents, my uncles, none of them people played that with me. They put me on the game. People who love you, they're going to put you on the game. And you know that. Hold on. The white man about to cut us off. I'm sorry, y'all know the white man cuts us off when it's time to pay some bills, <laughs> honey. I have no control over paying the bills over here when the white man got to cut you off. Y'all know I don't run my mouth for free. I get paid to run my mouth. So, you know, that's why I could do a whole hour live because as long as I sit here on uh, live, I'm what's up, y'all? Run my mouth. What's up, everybody? I see everybody showing me mad love. What's up, y'all? Yeah, you y'all don't see me a lot. I come out once in a blue. Yeah, y'all gotta just... stay. They get all hype off of that. That's what it is, y'all. Y'all gotta stop hyping these niggas up like that. Y'all gotta stop I'm doing just that. Gagging, but you know what but... the whole situation? Because I would have listen. I'd have kept my mouth closed and everything with the whole situation. I just hate. Yeah. I just hate for somebody to try to run my name through the mud and make me seem like a bad person. That's so fucked then the up. Next time I go out and I see Tutu, if Danny didn't tell me. Her eye at up. Up. 
Hold on, it's like breaking up. Hello? It's breaking up. Okay. You back? Oh, okay. Yeah, I got it. It's you better now. It. Here we go. Yeah. Yeah, the shit was acting up. Yeah, I don't want I don't want that lady to be looking at me and cutting her eye at me and all types of stuff. And I don't know what's going on because you know you don't sat here and you don't lied and all types of stuff. So you know I have to come out and I have to defend Yo, myself. Yeah. I have to defend my name and my character because that's all you have. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know what's wrong. It's different. You got social media. You got it's it's different. He feel like he 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 got something to hide. It's obvious somebody got something to hide. I don't know. I just know. I don't know how people find themselves in that place. I don't really know. I, I, I you see me? I'm writing it on Facebook. I didn't even know what you was talking about. I'm like, who was sucking dick on Megabus? Like, what's going on with y'all? Like, this is a lot. This is a lot. They graduating. It's like trans. I don't know. Like, I don't they graduated, know. honey. They graduated. They, graduated. they like they graduated, I don't know. It's like like you was talking about when you was talking about hood booger cunts and shit like that. I was just thinking like that because that's what when you said that I think about shit like that. But then I was like, no, they not even that because them bitches get money. Them bitches always got changed. They sons and kids always got J's on. Them bitches making money and shit. But you was on the mega bus. They making money. Go they get making, your license. They making money. They even, go be they, with somebody got, that's gonna put you on your shit. Yes, How they making that? money. They got money. They got money to pay for a plane ticket and uh and an Amtrak ticket and a mega bus ticket. Motherfuckers ain't even got money to pay for the twelve dollars Chinese. Who's bus. this with a ring? Okay. Yo, okay, this I gotta is crazy. let you. I gotta let you go. Yeah, let I'm, me go. I'm, I know I'm your line is crazy. I'm gonna let you go, brother. I'm gonna let you go, brother. And yeah, to all if girls, I get in trouble. And to all of you girls, and to all of you girls that's on this live, <laughs> bitch, that my brother is tagged in this live, please do not <laughs> do not send him a friend request. He will not add you to say. So you thirsty girls, stay out of his No, I'm line. sorry. I'm taking y'all. He's not, he's not gonna do that, baby, okay? So I'm baby, taking by not, Jesus. Not, the Lord got me. <laughs> Thank you, brother. Lady yo. Okay, honey, I'm here for the shit. I'm always here for the shit, honey. I'm about to get up out of here, though, honey, because you know it's a lot. It's a lot. I re but I respect. I respect. I respect my. I respect my transgender men. I do. I respect the transgender men that respect themselves. If you're not going to respect yourself, no one else is going to respect you. If you do not respect yourself, okay. That's that's the whole thing to this. Okay, these girls. These girls are running around here. They're not respecting you because you don't respect yourself and they're not going to respect you, okay? I'm not saying that you're not allowed to do this and I'm not saying that you're not allowed to do this, but it's all about respecting yourself and respecting your body, okay? If you don't respect yourself and respect your body, they're just not going to. Hold on. Let me see, honey, Okay. Oh, I'm here for the shit, honey, okay? Your camera's not up on my thing. You know, it only shows me a certain amount of people on the live. Hold on. Hold on. It only showed me a certain amount of people, but I would definitely add you. I, I would. Well, I don't have a problem, but I got to wait for my camera to rotate. Hopefully, it'll rotate and you'll come up on my list. Yeah, but it's just a lot. But don't try to make me uh, out to be a bad person. I'm not. I'm not that. I have never. I know he said add him, but if y'all never if y'all never been on Facebook Live before, it only gives you six people that you can call on your video, and he's not on the six people that's on my list. So I have to wait for the list to change, and the list randomly changes on its own. Oh, I see. He said call him. I don't have a problem with adding him into the live because y'all know I'm always here for the shit, honey. Okay. Baby, oh yes, Susan, I would definitely call you. And anybody can tell you. Susan can tell you. Shady can tell you. Any anybody that's out there that knows me know I am 
I go for the trans. I'm I'm a trans man activist. I'm a lesbian activist. I'm an AG activist. Baby, I am 150% on their motherfucking side. I am the only transgender woman and motherfucking ballroom history to have a lesbian woman motherfucking ball, bitch, okay? I used to, when they had they seen, I used to throw the biggest event for them every motherfucking year with motherfucking Aisha, bitch. I am on their side cold-hearted. But what you're not going to do is you're not going to drag my name in the mud and try to make me out to be some type of bitch that I am not. Okay, bitch, no, you're not. You're not going to sit here and send people messages saying Kelly was trying to do this and Kelly was trying to do that, and no, you're not going to do that because that's not how the story went, okay? I'm a grown-ass motherfucking woman. I've been doing this. I was doing this before that child was allowed, before that child was even born. I was doing this. What you're not going to do is you're not going to make it seem like Kelly is this and Kelly is that. So then when I come out and I see this girl, your wife, his wife, and she giving me the side eye. No. Because if Danny didn't tell me and I didn't get the screenshot of the message that he sent, I'd have been sitting here looking like, why is she giving me the L face? Like, wh why? For what? I wouldn't have knew what the fuck was going on. And then you want to make subliminal status and all this type of stuff like that? I don't, we don't do that. I respect everybody and I want everybody to respect me. And that's what it is. Okay. I'm just saying, I'm just saying, honey, I'm trying to see his name, but it still ain't coming up on my camera, honey. Okay. Maybe it still ain't coming up on my list. So if anybody know about the video live, it only shows you like six people. So, and his name is not on the list, Sonny. So I would have definitely added him in. You know, I'm here for the shit. I'm always here for the shit. Okay. I fight for the trans men down. Baby, I've been trying to listen. I've been I fight for the trans men down. I've been trying to get a collective of trans men to sit on my panel on my radio show to do a night on my show. This is how much I love the trans men and the the lesbian community. But you're not going to you're not going to make it seem like Kelly was aggressive and Kelly was coming. No, it was not. That's not what it was given. So if you're going to give something to cover your tracks and to cover your ass, don't. Because you didn't have to cover your tracks or cover your ass. Because Kelly don't kiss and tell. I really don't. I don't kiss and tell. That ain't how I get down, bitch. And I want everybody to know that, bitch. So I got to put that out there. Kelly don't kiss and tell, bitch. Y'all got to know the difference between the two. Kelly don't kiss and tell. She not about that life. She don't do that. If I'm sitting here and me and you conversing and we chatting and stuff and we texting offline and all of that stuff, I'm not about that life. Bitch, I don't get down like that. If you send me pictures, oh, I, I, I don't want to send you no pictures. You're, it's Kelly Mizrahi. You might you. I don't get down like that. That's not me. I don't get down like that. I really don't. And that's on my dead grandmother that's tattooed on my arm here and that's tattooed on my back and that's about to be tattooed on my leg. I don't get down like that. I don't do that. That's not how I give it up. But don't ever try to drag my name through the mud because that's the only thing that I have is my name. My name speaks volumes for itself. But don't drag this name through the mud because if you drag this name through the mud, I'm going to drag you. And that's why I have to drag. Hold on. I'm trying to see if his, uh, if his name came up here on my list now. Nope, he still ain't up here on my list, honey. Baby, I see Susan, I see Ian, I see my son, I see my son, I see Barney, dope boy, I see Poison, hey Poison, Jordan, Black, Joel, and Tanae. They the only ones I see that got a camera right now, honey. Okay? Those are the only ones I see with a camera right now. So if his name came up with the camera, I would have definitely asked. Yes, but I'm back, but I'm about to get up off of this live. Hopefully, 
hopefully he doesn't make any more lives. He doesn't make any more statuses. And we let this sleeping dog lie. Because as he make another video or make another status and coming for me, I'm going to do what I do. And I'm going to come up here and I'm going to make another video. I don't have a problem with making videos. I get paid for my videos. So I don't have a problem with making another one. So hopefully we'll let this be the last video. And he won't post no statuses. And he won't say nothing about me. And we'll let it be where it is. But if not, I will be back. Because I get paid to come back. And you're doing it for free. But anybody that's new and just following my videos, you can always follow me on Instagram and Twitter and Snapchat at J-U-Triple-S-K-E-L-L-Y. And you can also go subscribe to my YouTube channel at Big Sexy 140 on YouTube. And you can always go and like. I cannot add. I know I got a lot of new friends requests after the last video, but I cannot add friends on my page because I have 5,000 friends. But you can always follow me. And when you follow me, you can click on the tune in button on the bottom and you can always catch my videos. And if you ever see me in the motherfucking streets or any place around, bitch, always run up and see me and say, hey, I'm here for the shit because I am always here for the shit. This was another installment of the Jess Kelly show underneath Jess Entertainment Platform. I love you all for loving me. I can't wait to see you in 10 days at the Big, the Bold, and the Beautiful Ball here in New York City at Stage 48 from 1 to 10 p.m., honey. It's going down. One femme queen, one transgender woman, and this community will be crowned $1,000, I mean $5,000. Big, I mean $5,000. Femme queen performance. Y'all are all fucked up. I'm ready to go to the next category. $5,000 femme queen performance. $1,000 open to all runway, $1,000 open to all best dress. And then you have five $500 motherfucking categories. It's going down next Saturday at stage 48. I love you all for loving me. I thank y'all for tuning in. Like I tell y'all every Monday, Tuesday, and Wednesday when I'm live on the radio show, whatever bathroom, whatever alleyway you definitely do go into, please make sure you do practice safe sex because the life you save will definitely be your own. I am the icon and I am signing off. Goodbye.